So in this video, I will teach you how to create a free LinkedIn banner step by step. I will start off with some great LinkedIn banner examples and ideas. And after that, I will cover the best LinkedIn banner dimensions and margins for both desktop and mobile, followed by some free templates I use and tips on creating your own design. I will then customize several examples on the spot. One for students with ambitions in digital marketing, one for employees, more specifically those active in financial accounting, and lastly, an example banner for freelancers or business business owners. So let's get right into it and show you some great LinkedIn examples and ideas. This one, for example, is from Neil Patel. I like the contrasting colors between the profile picture and banner, and he uses the banner as an infographic. You see the hook right here, followed by his services? It's all very informative. Now those who search for him online, whether it be on Google or on LinkedIn, will immediately see his core strengths. Now let me show you another one. This one is from Aaron Cordova, a software engineer that uses his banner to highlight his experience in coding specifically these programming languages. And if you look closely, he also included his interests, things he cares about and aspirations. Very creative and eye-catching. Okay, next one, Fabio Marama. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but he seems like a public figure and uses visuals without text to convey this message. Again, great contrasting colors and public speaking is clearly his thing. Now, when looking at this banner, I'm actually not surprised he's active in marketing and branding. Okay, down below I recognize Dan Locke. He's kind of a controversial character, but you gotta admit, he's a great seller. So let's check out his banner. I like this one as well. It's a plain and simple banner with a clear message and company logo in the background. Now, as for the last example, I want to show you Seth Godin's background photo. He's a well-known author and uses the banner section to display and promote his books. So if you want to sell something or display your achievements, then I would highly recommend you to use the LinkedIn banner to do so. Okay, now let's get started on canva.com. You first need to create an account, but don't worry, it's free, just like everything I'll be using in this video. Now, once you've done that, you click on create a design, enter LinkedIn background photo and pick this one the 1584 times 396 pixels. Then I would like to go to file and enable the ruler and margin settings. That will help us define the available space on not only desktop, but also mobile. Something that is important because recruiters and hiring managers use LinkedIn on their smartphone. Now, if we look at Neil Patel's banner on mobile, for example, you can see that the profile picture and banner overlap each other. It says one more effic instead of one more traffic. Now, although Neil Patel's banner is good, it's not mobile friendly, just like some pre-made templates on Canva. For example, this one called Black Minimalist Content Creator. So what I use to avoid this problem is pick an element, search for circle, click it, and extend it accordingly. So vertically in between the 100 and 150, and horizontally 30 to 520. Now you obviously need to remove it once you finish your design. It's just so we know the margins. Let me fast forward a bit. So right now it's placed correctly and when I select the element, you can see the measurements. Okay, so as you might have noticed already, these are the pre-made templates that Canva offers. Some are paid, some are free. You can also download and import free images on Pixabay or Pexels.com. Search for, let's say, desk and pick one out. I like this one. So let's download the file and then we upload it to Canva because I want to show you how to craft a LinkedIn banner for students who don't have any working experience yet, but would like to focus their career on digital marketing. Okay, so let me duplicate this page, click the image and extend it accordingly, or just drag it like this. Double tap to move it like you want. Okay, then I want to add some text. And I know that when I search for Olivia in templates, I will find some beautiful pre-made templates with the elements I need. I want to add this one to our extra page. Make sure to click it first and after that the template. Copy and paste the text and drag it to your initial design. You can adjust the font style and size over here. Now from now on my name is Olivia and we are a student heading towards the direction of marketing and social media. Okay now I want to adjust this and align everything. Okay then I want to add another page. Let me see. I like this transparent background. Let me copy and paste it. Okay, move it a bit and click send it backward a couple of times. Okay, that looks good. Let's add some borders around this as well. And if you want to, you can also change the background's transparency to make the text stand out a bit more. Okay, I also want a call to action 
And I know the black minimalist content creator template has it. Add another page. I don't want the underlying element, so I just delete it. Copy and paste the elements. Okay, that looks good. And then we change the colors. Now once you're done, just remove the element. Click on share, download, select the current page, download, open up LinkedIn and upload the banner. You see, and then you have a beautiful template for students. Okay, next up, I would like to customize an example banner for employees, more specifically, someone in financial accounting. You already know how to create this empty template, the element over here, and you know that I found these upload images on Pexels. Now for this example, I want to create a banner that is somewhat similar as Fabio's. But instead of five different parts, I will do three. And the first one with this calculator image. It really fits the image of being an accountant. Make it align and send it backwards. You can either crop it over here or like this. Then I go to elements and search for gradient square. Pick this one out, make it align. Okay, pick some colors. I think I should pick a white and gray combination. Then I search for square. Mm -hmm. Make it transparent, add a border, and then I would like to add another image. Go to elements and search for, let's say, city. Let's pick this one. Okay, and then like this. All right, now I'm also inspired by Neil Patel's transparent picture over here. So let me add one of myself. And as you can see, mine is already transparent. Just check out my other video on how to make a LinkedIn profile picture to do exactly the same. Okay, let me align everything properly here. Okay, that looks good. Next up, we need some text. Templates, Olivia, and pick this one. Copy the whole text by holding shift and clicking the elements. And then you let shift go and hold the option key to drag them. Now, just follow me along. Let me think, what are we again? Oh yeah, a financial accountant. Change the color. Let's pick my hair for fun. Okay, that looks pretty decent. I help companies keep track of their financial health. Align and increase the font size a bit. And lastly, add some of the software tools that you master. A bit like what Cordova did here as well. Okay, so that's done. So now I want to see the end result. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, so next up I want to show you this example banner for freelancers or business owners. It's actually the example that I use for my LinkedIn profile. So for a company page or someone who is self-employed, I believe it's important to show your value proposition and USB here because it's the first thing that people will notice when they visit your profile. And that's why I've also added my social media channels and a call to action. And for those who are wondering how I made this template, well, I found this background in either templates or elements by entering city or building. These four visuals can be found in elements. Same goes for the arrow you see over here. The vertical line is from the template underneath. And I drag the font style, paper and tape from this template. Make it smaller, crop the paper or flip the image to make it stand out. All right, now I'm really curious about your LinkedIn banner. So if you want me to check it out or just want to connect with me, then go to my LinkedIn profile. Other than that, I hope you found this video helpful. And if so, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe for more tutorials like these. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.